for thirty million dollars cash. He busts in the room with a suitcase. He say, "Hey, for thirty million, drink this water <laughs> right now." And then he opened up the briefcase and then be like, "Oh, oh. it's Chill all the cash. Water. You drinking this? Thirty million? 30, cash? Cold cash now? You know, cash cold." Mm. Ooh, 30 million. 30 million? I'm talking about right now. Drink the water? You got to drink the water. All of it? All of it. Nah, I can't do it for 30 million. million. If you say take a sip, then I'm going to take that sip million. and throw that up. Fuck if I'm used to being broke. <laughs> <laughs> Selling my soul for no chilling water. What up? You What's heard? Up? I'm in New York right now, huh? You know what I'm saying? Doing surgery today. We doing surgery? You know what I'm saying? We doing, doing surgery on a pig. You know what I'm saying? This pig, where this pig came from? Is this Wilbur? Okay, look y'all, we'll be doing pig intestines today. Chitlins. Okay. I'm not prepared. At all. As country as I am, I have never, ever prepared chitlins. As an adult. I never had a taste for chitlins. Mm. As if you never have a taste for crack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Draws, you know. What's up, y'all? I'm Precious from Dallas, Oak Cliff, Texas. What up, y'all? It's your boy B. Lou. I'm from Cobb County, Georgia. I have been around chitlins before. Both my parents are from Arkansas, so you know, once a year my mom would make chitlins. Um, I never engaged because the smell was so atrocious that, you know, I, I just never wanted to partake. I've seen multiple people around me, in my family, next door neighbors cook chitlins. It is a normal thing from where I'm from. Y'all killing us out here, man. It's not okay. We can take all this, y'all. We need vinegar, lime, salt, bacon. We need everything to clean this. Because guess what go through your intestines? Everything. Ooh, I never seen it, bro. Oh, they still frozen. Where you going? Is this multiple pigs or just one pig? This is the worst, y'all. Oh, this smell like this, this. No, no, okay, this smell like my Uncle Tommy house. So this is normal. <laughs> All right, my first thoughts when I smelled the chitlins was life is bad. You know what I'm saying? When I first opened the chitlins and smelled them, I instantly was brought back to my childhood of Thanksgivings uh, in Cleveland, Tennessee. So right now, guys, what we're gonna do for you guys is prepare the chitlins. I, yeah. feel, like I, I, feel, like I, I feel like I'm at the crib, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm I don't. I never did this at the crib. I never did this. You never did this? This tastes like when somebody throw up. This smell like when somebody throw up and you just oh, walk man. in the room like, ugh. They didn't clean that up. Ugh. It's yeah, bloody man. at the bottom. Nah. Precious, you from Dallas, Texas. And I never have ever said anything about chitlins in my whole, have, have y'all ever heard me say? What y'all eating? Y'all eat Get on coon. them chitlins. I ain't ate coon. Okay, I had dirt and goat. That's it. That's it? Ugh, okay, so what do we do to clean the so fries? Now, the now lime? Throw the salt in there. Salt? Yeah. Boy, y'all act like this a drink. This ain't a drink. You can't clean guts with salt. The cleaning process of chitlins was basically like probably the cleaning process of a baby, which is why I didn't have them. I don't want to wipe sh 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 from a baby ass, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see piss and smell it, you know? Like, I don't want to have to put baking soda and vinegar for this to almost be all right. Now, this was my first time actually cleaning and really going through the process of doing chitlins and preparing them. And this is my last time because it's, oh, it's too much. Like, you got to clean multiple times. You got to touch them and put the salt and the vinegar and the baking soda. Then you gotta redump it and re-add it and re, it's just too much. And it stinks. <laughs> it really stinks. It's irritating. Right now I feel like that Trillville song. Uh -oh. I'm What's getting some lime. Let it get in them go, them go. I hope this just get rid of some of the smell. <laughs> Look, y'all, they said to do this. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, 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 get, get, it, get it out of hand, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're moving too fast. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta rub it on nah, it. Nah, you gotta put the salt in there, man. I did the salt. Look at oh, this, y'all. Y'all, this look good. 
little bit more in there. You know how steak look good. You massage steak. You know massage this. That mother do stink though. Don't it? I feel like you're trying to pick up a fish out the water. It feel like, yeah, yeah, like no yeah. bones. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This like, is boneless. It's like, it's like, gut. it's like your goldfish died and you gotta get it out. Ugh. Right now, what we're about to do, ladies and gentlemen, we put them in the water, we put the salt. Now, the next step is to add the lime. So the lime will refresh it. The lime is like an astringent, you know what I'm saying? Like sea breeze. Like that word. You know what I'm saying? Say that word again. You feel like your face clean, but you don't know that you put that sea breeze. You know what I'm saying? It kind of yeah. burn and cool, like ice. It's hot. called an astringent. 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 <laughs> Vinegar, y'all. Strong. Oh shit. See, look at you. See, that one them lot. It do stink, bro. Boy. It do smell like a porta potty. Anything you gotta put on food that make it fizz up, like you put some hydrogen peroxide on it, maybe you're not supposed to be eating it. Here we go. Big bubbles. Shh, shh. It's working. In order to really get those customers to come back. Just like crack. <laughs> you gotta, gotta add, add that bacon soda. <laughs> We're gonna squeeze it out and move it, it over. And move it to the uh, cream bowl. Uh, not okay. Right now, this is the part when your, uh, when your washer cut off too early. Yeah. <laughs> so what we doing is y'all, is we squeezing these out and moving them. Like when you cook greens, you have them on one side, you know what I'm saying? You move them to the other side, then you redo it. It's like the greens. But this ain't greens, okay? This is intestine. So what we're doing is squeezing out, move it over, and then we're going to repeat so that we can get the cleanest intestines ever. If you're going to eat intestines, you definitely want them to be clean. <laughs> they were then instructed to repeat the cleaning process two more times. These are the highlights. And we're gonna really thoroughly clean it, pull the membrane out. We're gonna expect it, we're gonna do like this, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pull it up. You gotta look at it like a fake honey. Up, oh, there go the face. Okay, then you gotta make sure that it's no brown. We don't want no brown because that is boo boo. And y'all think people really cleaning this like this for y'all? No, we are for this show. People don't curl, they rinsing it out or not rinsing it at all like a bag salad. My mouth getting warm, I'm finna throw up. <laughs> for real? No, not for real, but I feel like it. <laughs> right now in the comment section, let us know what we're doing right or wrong because it just feels bad. Yeah, I feel like God would not be happy with us right now. I know somebody, I know somebody that's not like, boy, you don't need to do all that. Just take it down by the creek. <laughs> you gotta put it in that creek water. Go down there by Johnson Road. <laughs> Ooh. You go down there by Johnson Road, that's some good water in there. Make sure you get a little crawdad too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You get a little crawdad in your uh, your chillies, boy. That's a good batch of chillies. Ain't nothing like bugs and intestines. Let them know, man. It's about uh <laughs> for a meal, boy. Yeah, come on, cause Johnny used to do the same thing. That mean that's some good guts. The process of washing chillies, today I learned that any of y'all eating chillies, they not clean, okay? Nobody is washing them like that. We washed them three times ourselves, which they said it might've took a couple of more, but three get it clean. I know I didn't get all the membrane and all the brown stuff and some hanging like a little ball. You know, I know I didn't get it all. Like, I got the lime, I'm trying to do the lime juice. I'm putting the soda, it's bubbling up. It just look like a pot of guts. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm trying to act like I'm doing something. You can't pull all that out, for it's impossible. So you nasty if you just sit up and eat that. Chitlins and cheese. Get it in. <laughs> Chitlins and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is what we doing. We doing stove top chitlins. What you do now, you put it on the stove. Right. On the stove. Right. Okay. Basically, we got bringing it to a boil. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now we got them boiling. They boiling up good. Boom, boom, boom. You see it boiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's ready. Drain the water off. Now they ready to cook. Anything left is meant to be on there. So. What we're now going to do is drain that water, cook them up, and then we will come back with it very nicely plated. I don't know how you nicely plated it, but we're gonna nicely plate it and we're gonna taste it to show y'all that maybe sometimes this stuff might be all right. So we just finished cleaning them and we're about to eat them. And my first thought on how the taste is gonna be, I think the taste is going to taste like it smells, which is bad. One time for the one time, appreciate that. Shout out to the black owned business, Dread Fresh. Dread Fresh. One time, ma shit up, uh, boy. The one time. Tree time. And if you don't eat it, I'm a marshal. Man, <laughs> he did threaten us, y'all. Y'all yeah. know they don't be playing. Okay, y'all, now it is time. Up first, we have the American style, boiled and seasoned up very good. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. That's the normal one, okay? Then we have the 
we have the trepas, the trepas. This is the Hispanic version of chitlins, okay? It looks like a beef jerky. Go ahead. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Did you hear the sound? I think you gotta slow replay that. It was like, <laughs> There's no way I'm about to do that. Oh. Why? Is it too it's country? Like, yeah, oh, this is too country <laughs> for you, boy. Come on, come on. Oh my God, it's like you stepped in mud with some fresh J's, like. Oh. <laughs> it's like, no. This is a big piece, I okay. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Pinkish work. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I ain't tears stop so. I ain't need a TSC. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I see this. Oh, no, 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 no. He started banging on yeah. us all in the background. That's what you okay. just heard. So that's what they do. They aggressive. Yeah, you saw, you heard You're going to eat this, you're going to yeah. like it. We're going to keep all that. You heard him in the background. Say. It was good. Boy, he put so much seasoning in there, boy, you don't even know that shit, boy. Because I'm saying nobody should eat this, and this is horrible, and it's a lot of cleaning and whoopty whoop. And I know I talk a lot of noise, but I'm not going to lie. Whoever this Jamaican and African man was who cooked these, Chitlins, okay? Them American ones was all right. And I ain't gonna lie, it tasted so seasoned up that I really didn't realize I was eating intestines. So I'm hoping and praying that he cleaned them better than I did. Because <laughs> those was his, you know what I'm saying? That was my first time. Give me somebody experience, you know? The American versions were actually surprisingly way better than I thought it was gonna be. The American one was trash, but it was like, it was like a good trash. It was like, hey, wait, don't throw that away. Let me get something out of it. Then you can throw it away. <laughs> oh, this smells smell like... Is that garlic parmesan? It smells like semi-gloss paint. Did you make, Did you shake it up? <laughs> trying to paint a bathroom. Okay, let me see. <laughs> this is... This is <laughs> that one right there smells like primer. No, I'm just playing. Shut up. Or is it good? Let me change the tater chip. But hey, he got down, this one right here, the one that we were cleaning, fire. Good. No. Not good. It's not horrible, it just ain't like all fat, it just ain't like, it's like, like cooked fat, you know what I'm saying? Just cooked fat, like you're just chewing on some fat. That one is very hard, like beef jerky, like I said. This one is just like some, some, some encrusted fat, you know, just. So like, right now, this is the potato. I'm gonna put it in a little uh, Trinidad, the Trinidad flavor. Oh, this the one. Mm. This the one in the two right here. Oh, the chip one ain't bad. Oh. The chip one's solid. Oh, I gotta get one more bite for my ancestors. See? And that's without hot yeah. sauce, y'all. The key to the regular chili is a lot of seasoning. A lot you of need seasoning. You can see what seasoning this man used. He got and his own stuff. You, and when you eat them, you gotta say, let my people go. Thank y'all so much for watching Two Country. Y'all see what we, the, the lengths of what we'll go through to show y'all how good or not good this stuff is. So if it's anything else you want us to try, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And last but not least, make sure you like, subscribe. And share. Follow. Oh, and share. It's yeah. very clutch. Yes. The channel. And we are out. Chill. Come on, Press, you letting too many people through. Doodoo -doo Brown. <laughs> Got that doodoo -doo Brown on that one.